So in this question, we're looking at a charge entering an electric field that is set up by two plates with a potential difference across them. Now you can read the question yourself, but the first thing you need to do is always get a good understanding of what's going on by drawing a diagram, and that's gonna help us set up solving the question. So here are our two plates, and we know that they are separated by a distance of one centimetre. Secondly, we know that we have a potential difference across those two plates. And that voltage that we are given is... And that voltage that we're given is 100 volts. And then we're told that an electron is entering that field, like so, at a velocity of 2 by 10 to the power of 7 meters per second. So there's our diagram. The next, the question now asks us is what is the accelerant? What is the force that the charge experiences? Now, um, I, in this question, it's not set up in terms of showing the direction of the force. Now, force, of course, is not just a value, it's also a directional. Now, force, of course, is a vector. That means we have both a direction and a magnitude involved. So it's helpful then to draw our electric field as we go. Since this is the positive plate and this is the positive plate over here, then our electric field is going to be in the downward direction like this. And it's a uniform electric field. That's important because that tells us that the force that the charge experience is a constant force. Now the electron goes against the electric field lines and so therefore it will undergo motion that looks like this and it is in fact projectile motion because we're getting a constant force in the vertical direction, we're getting a constant velocity in the horizontal direction. So those two are independent of each other and so as a result we get a classic projectile motion problem. Of course the acceleration is not going to be 9.8, it's going to be due to the force that this charge is experiencing. So. Let's set this up. So we know, first of all, that it is an electric field and we need to know what the electric field strength is. And now the electric field strength is equal to the voltage divided by the distance of separation of the plates. So this is equal to 100. This is equal to 0.01. So we get an electric field strength of one by 10 to the power of four newtons per coulomb or volts per meter. The units are equivalent. We now know how to work out the force because the force in terms of the electric field is equal to EQ. And so that is now given 1 by 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by my charge, which is 1.6 by 10 to the power of negative 19. And we therefore get an answer of 1.6 by 10 to the power of negative 15 newtons. So there you have that problem. Now the second part of the question, I'm not going to do fully working out for you because I want you to do that yourself but I will give you the answer and I'll give you the tips on how to get there. As I said to you, this question is a projectile motion problem. That is, we can deal with it in the vertical and in the horizontal. Now the question asks you for the total kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of my charge is due to its mass, of course, and its velocity. Of course, the formula is equal to a half mv squared. But the velocity at which it strikes the plate is due to two velocities. It's due to its horizontal velocity, which we're already given, and also its velocity it has due to the fact that it's accelerating in the vertical direction. So you need to determine those two velocities. Now, we already have one velocity. Can we work out the other velocity? We can, and that's using projectile motion. So the first step you need to do is to work out my, the acceleration. And remember, the acceleration of my charge in the vertical position is simply the force divided by the mass. You've got the force, you've got the mass. You can work out the acceleration. You can then can treat this as a equation of motion. You've got this velocity to work out. The initial velocity is zero. The acceleration is the acceleration just worked out here. Now the displacement is halfway in between, so it's not one centimeter. It's going to be only half of that. And we're not interested in the time because the formula you'll need is v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. That will allow you to work out the velocity. Then because this is a lovely right angle here, you can work out the net velocity in this direction. And then using half mv squared, you can work out what the total kinetic energy is. And I will tell you that the volume of value ends up being equal to 1.9 by 10 to the power of negative 16 joules. So that's your final answer that you should be getting. In any case, hope that's helped you understand your motion of charges in electric fields and keep
keep watching my videos. Bye for now.